नमस्ते एंड हेलो माई नेम इज यशिका एंड आई एम द फाउंडर एंड सी ए ऑफ वॉइस ऑफ अचीवर्स फ्रॉम इंडिया वॉइस ऑफ अचीवर्स ब्रिंग्स अ हब ऑफ इंस्पायरिंग एंड सेल्डम हर्ड वॉइसिस ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रनर्स प्रोफेशनल्स क्रिएटिव एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल डूअर्स हु डेड टू वॉक अ टफ रोड डाइविंग डीप इन टू देर पर्सनल जर्नीज वॉइस ऑफ अचीवर्स ट्रेसिस देर लर्निंग कर्व and shares instrumental lessons learnt both personally and professionally from heart crushing disappointments to passionate resilience listen to the stories of these achievers in their own voices learn what sacrifices they made odds they dared and how they found the inspiration to continue on the paths they chose welcome to an exciting new episode of voice of achievers Our guest today is the charming yet feisty author and speaker Ms Sudha Menon. A former journalist, she has authored 5 non-fiction books including Feisty at 50, Gifted, Devi Diva or She Devil, The Smart Woman Survival Guide, Legacy and Leading Ladies, Women Who Inspire India. She is now a columnist and founder of the non-fiction series Get Writing and Writing with Women. a motivational speaker she talks largely around women leadership gender diversity and inclusion miss menon talks to us today about women being on top of their game and at the workplace and beyond talking of inspiring leading ladies let's begin by saying uh, that most women today are dealing with multiple responsibilities and there is this and there is this this innate need for perfection every day and in everything that they tend to do whether mm-hmm. it's in the house at work you just want to be the best at whatever yes. you do so you know ashika um, i actually wrote leading ladies women who inspire india um, 8 years ago uh, and that was after a 25 year old career in journalism so mm-hmm. the reason why i wrote this book was because i wanted to find out i was a very young mother and i was a very very passionate journalist and mm-hmm. i had this uh, situation on hand where on on the one side i would be uh, guilt stricken because i was not able to give my only daughter the attention she, uh, she needed and on the other hand um, i was this passionate really ambitious uh, g- young girl and i wanted to be the best journalist that uh, there was Um, mm-hmm. and so and and you know so i would run around like a headless chicken everywhere and i would do g- good stories and uh, uh, most of my journalism career i was a business journalist and so i would keep meeting all these successful women leaders you know from all walks of life and i would always wonder you know what is it that they are doing right that i can learn from how is it that they they get to be where they get to be you know uh, successful corner office their names uh, and faces on the magazine covers and mm-hmm. i always wondered what was it that they are doing right you know what is it that i can learn what is it that i can learn and then write about and take these messages to hundreds and thousands of young women like me who want to be like this successful women and that's Correct. why i wrote i wrote this book and what i find what i really found out from um, talking to uh, you know by now i have sp- uh, spoken to uh, i think some of india's most powerful women across across not i'm not just talking about uh, powerful as in uh, um, you know in the corporate setup i have spoken to some of india's most successful women uh, be it in sports or business or enterprise or um, you know the social sector and the things that i really learned from them um are uh, things we should all keep in mind the number one thing that they always tell me is that stop trying to be perfect you know we are yeah, not, yeah, absolutely absolutely we are not going to be perfect none of us are perfect so uh, you know they many of them tell me that uh, the the first thing to do is to accept that you're not perfect and do the best you can in whatever you think is your biggest strength and for the rest delegate you know delegate mm-hmm. those, those chores those tasks to the people who know know that task best and um, also what we can really learn is if you don't know something or if you know that something is your weak point mm-hmm. then there is no shame there is no embarrassment there is no harm in asking for help you know and true. learn true. whatever it is that you think is uh, your weak point study that and then you know then you will feel less vulnerable uh, like you said 
correct correct but there is there is of course like you correctly put it when you're when you're sort of juggling with responsibilities in the workplace mm-hmm. back at home how do you how do you get that push how do you trust your own voice how do you embrace yourself the way you are so by like i said it is not the easiest thing to do you know especially when you're young and you think you can do it all uh, we all of us have pushed ourselves ourselves beyond limit beyond the bounds uh, so and true. we want to yeah. do everything we want to do everything we don't trust other people with the work but what i have learned from um, now i think some 35 years on the job uh, <laughs> is that is that you cannot do everything yourself you just have to be a team worker you just have to be even even the most successful women that i know will always say that it is not my job alone you know i cannot get to be where i have come to without the team that has helped me along the way mm, so the, the things that we really women, especially women uh, we have to learn to delegate we have to learn to say no you know far too many of us spend so much of our time taking on extra work you know either because we have been told by it's by you know generations of conditioning that uh, women never say no good women have to you know be pleasant and never yes, say that's so true stuff, that's so true you know yes. so so we want to please everybody so we'll just go on taking uh, you know extra work because we don't want to offend anybody you know true. and so we yes. so at some point it becomes so much we have so many balls up in the air that it is going you we are going to drop those balls and then we are going to blame ourselves for doing that so mm-hmm. my my thing is and this is what i've heard from all the women i've spoken to is learn to delegate learn to say no you know that is really important for learn to say no both at the workplace and at home so i have this wonderful friend called pankajam shri devi um, in bangalore and um, right. she tells me uh, this uh, you know when i wrote my devi diva or she devil uh, she was one of the people i interviewed and mm-hmm. she says that right from the beginning uh, of her career she made it very clear both at office and at workplace and she, she's she's uh, she handles some you know she leads a team of some 10000 people i think wow she says that there is no way i'm going to be able to cook elaborate meals or entertain or go for weddings or birthday parties during the week so mm-hmm. her family knows that much as she loves the family setup she lives in she's not available for these things on weekdays and at work she knows and she and, and her colleagues know that she will do everything she can um, to be of help to her colleagues but she will do it only if she is comfortable with her calendar with her time if it is going to True. infringe on her time and make it really uncomfortable for herself uh, she will politely decline so we have to all learn that and we have to also learn to trust other people's talents you know we a lot of us women suffer from this that we think we are the best and we can do the best and it is it is harmful to ourselves and it is deep so thing for the teens that you work with that you don't trust them so we have mm-hmm. to the people that we have hired or the people who are our peers and colleagues to do that they also are talented people and so just hand over whatever it's their job to them and trust them to do that job well absolutely absolutely but clearly what i pick out of this is uh, prioritizing and time management yes and what uh, helps yes. and what helps prioritize is at the mon- in the morning and the be- very beginning of the week or at the beginning of each day make a list of things that you have to achieve and then prioritize these are the absolute things that have to be done on that particular day some of the things can be done by evening and some of them are not important enough for you to do so either mm-hmm. delegate it or decline it and say that i'm not going to do this it's not going to be of use to me to do this it's very important for us women to do others we just drive ourselves crazy we spread ourselves too thin and we become ineffective in whatever it is that we are really hired to do so true and uh, it it also adversely affects uh, the health and wellness of uh, so many people who are 100%. trying to like you said uh, please so many people and then you end up harming no one else but yourself yes so one of the things that also is very important and this i have learned uh, lessons learned hard even on my own you know i have i am a crazy sort of or i used to be a crazy sort of workaholic i love it when i'm at my table or i'm meeting people and i, I need to pack my days with activities and mm-hmm. then when you look up and you realize that your health is poor 
you have not uh, socialized with anybody your friends have all disappeared because you don't care enough to make a telephone call to them once in a week uh, your mm-hmm. family is um, you know offended because you you don't turn up for uh, events you don't uh, uh, you don't do any of the things other than work and it affects you you know your your emotional health is uh, uh, affected your physical health is uh, affected and you're not the richer for it so i Sorry. always say that me time and much as cliched as it sounds it is absolutely absolutely necessary to spare you know to keep a little time for you to rejuvenate yourself rejuvenate your soul um, you know bond with your family bond with your father and mother bond with your children friendships are so important i and i say this with uh, you know with great emphasis that for fr- for i mean everybody deserves friends but for women especially friendships female friendships are so important because um, men have their old boys network and you know <laughs> that's them. so true that's a lovely thought yes. that's a lovely and thought we are so caught up in being worker bees at uh, work and also at home that we don't we stop having friends we we stop having relationships where we feel secure to vent and to share our stories to express our concerns and it gnaws away at your insides and um, that's not a nice thing to happen so female sure. very very important doing something for yourself whatever it is you know even if it is just lighting a lamp and sitting in front of it for 10 minutes every evening uh, mm-hmm. or, or learning a musical instrument or just going for a walk in the morning it is so crucial for all of us it's such such a vivid and such a beautiful image already of the lamp and it just But, takes 10 minutes It's so true, so true. But uh, so tell me something. When you're talking about it's, it's great to have me time, and I totally agree with you. Uh, amidst so many things uh, around you, the responsibilities, the juggling, uh, the chaos, uh, there is also that need for women, at least, to upgrade themselves or to enhance their skills, whatever 100%. is existing. Uh, what and how? and what uh, do you do to find time to do this and how do you s- sort of move up your own game or so so for this for this the first and foremost is to ditch the guilt you know we think as women we have been conditioned to think that anything that you do for yourself is selfish and unnecessary mm-hmm. and a waste of time isn't it how many times have you felt how many times have you felt guilty because you decided to take half of a saturday Uh, to go and attend a workshop what or on whatever it is that so you know, that you think will add to your personality mm-hmm. uh, or to your career personal life or your career or whatever but we feel guilty because we think oh i would have done you know i could have done this for my father or i could have done this so true father, yes at the back of your mind you're like uh, what about lunch that day it is suicide this this sort of thing this thing that we won't update ourselves we don't uh, Uh, learn new things this is bad not just for your career but it's bad for your own personality it's bad learning new things is one of the best ways of keeping away you know in future uh, uh, conditions like alzheimers and all of this so it is absolutely absolutely necessary for you to learn new things keep yourself updated the workplace is moving at such a speed these days that if you mm-hmm. don't be updated with whatever your space you're in Uh, you are likely to become redundant and you don't want so that true. absolutely absolutely yeah. so just, it the, the most important thing is to just say i'm not going to be guilty i'm going to do this this is my investment for myself every woman has to invest in herself mm. she mm. has to learn new things what do you think are the professional and personal skills that young uh, ladies or young women in executive positions in or, or uh dreaming to be uh mm. leading women at the yes. workplace both at the workplace and at home what do you think are the specifics could you tell us a specific professional or personal skills Absolutely. that i think i think one of the foremost qualities of anybody it's not just women it's it's everybody one of the foremost qualities that leaders look at when they mentor uh, and groom the next level of leadership is teamwork you know leaders don't want people who work silo style people who will work alone just sit at their uh, desk and just uh, just go on working hard not look up not make eye contact with anybody they want people who will work well with teams 
be able to articulate ideas communicate ideas motivate teams and work as part of a team you know nobody sure. wants people who have no have poor social skills so that is really important uh, the number 2 of course is that you have to be the subject matter uh, expert you have to know whatever uh, is your job profile you have to be the best there is in that so keep yourself right. updated continuously uh, at the workplace don't be a lone runner you know uh, take time off uh, even if it is having coffee for 10 minutes or 15 minutes with your colleagues you know just right. get on the chair and go go join the gang you know this is good for you because very often the office coffee machine is where the gossip office gossip happens about what <laughs> <the> people <laughs> and because because that is where people talk about i heard this job is coming up you know this opening is coming up i heard this uh, new role is opening up that mm-hmm. if if you don't do that if you don't network um, you are never going to know that that new job is coming up and that maybe you know you're qualified for it but but since you thought hacking away at your computer was more important the job just came and went and you didn't get it so sure. i like how entertainment becomes awareness and then becomes an opportunity absolutely I and that. also i would say that we all sneer at office parties but i do think office parties i'm not saying that you should be there from uh, you know 7 in the evening to 4 in the uh, uh, morning when you are the last man standing on the dance floor but i'm saying office parties are important you know the office Uh, networking things that come up are important because that is where the seniors in your organization are going to know you personally you know they they are going to they'll be observing you to see what sort of skills do your team dynamic what is your uh, what what is the equation with the rest of the uh, important things and um, you know i'm not saying that office parties have to be in the evening i i have a bone to pick with that mm-hmm. i think that if more women have to be part of these things and i i have a sister who is uh, you know who who is a staunch feminist and she says that this is wrong this office party beginning at 9 in the evening is wrong she says uh, she tells me that you write about women and leadership and you know women's progression in the workplace she says you must introduce this concept that office parties can happen during the day sure. it can happen from lunch to evening mm-hmm. so that more women can you know more women can participate in that of course and i 100% back her on this idea that it doesn't have to be uh, the conventional Uh, office party where you uh, you know drink yourself to death Correct. and uh, late night it doesn't have to be that but i do think that you have to occasionally socialize with uh, your office colleagues and your seniors of course uh, beyond again, work yeah uh, another thing that is really important is for us to look for mentors and for advocates who will to- who will who will not just showcase your abilities within the organization but will actually advocate for you to make the progression to the next level in the organization great yeah yeah absolutely yeah you finally it is the woman who has to make the choice but you know don't let anybody tell you what is good for you or bad for you mm-hmm. if you think that you want to take time off during your during pregnancy you want to take time off to have a child and uh, raise it by all means do it if you feel that you're not ready for a child and your your career is the most important to uh, thing in your life do it whatever it is once you have made your choice if you want to bo- do both mm-hmm. that is your choice but whatever it is once you have made your choice have the confidence to stand by it and then you will never regret it you know it's it's that you have to make that choice yourself and then, and then embrace it absolutely with, yeah. yes absolutely that's that's lovely thank you for such such beautiful insights that you've given us from thank your you, experiences Jessica. from the book would you would you like to sum up with how or what do you think women uh, perceive achievement as or Achieve, achieve, achievement is i think whatever it is that your is your calling if you get there and if you are able for me it is that you know what for me success means the ability to impact positively the life of another person mm-hmm. to impact uh, mm-hmm. as many people as posi- uh, as possible positively you know to to just make a change in the way people live their lives and that is why i write books about women and their journeys because i do think that it is such a tough life for women it and is. i think that we need uh, we need all the motivation and inspiration we can get
yeah and with people like you around i'm sure we have enough and more to look up to thank you yes. so yeah. great I, I, great to be feasty at 50 love that yes yes <laughs> thank that is my new book and uh, um, that's my new book and that is what i wrote after 35 years 30 years of a career um i you know across across cultures there is this thing that a woman over 40 is downhill you know it's all downhill for her she's over the hill right and i beg to differ you know i started writing about the experiences of being a woman of that age and i can tell you safely that i have i'm now more feisty than i've ever been in my life mm-hmm. you know i'm more empowered i feel more i feel liberated you know i feel more enthusiastic about things and i'm just raring to go you know i have so many things to achieve so feisty is a feisty at 50 is for all those women who have been told by you know the guys in the entertainment business in media uh, or in all the ads that you see that uh, older women have no role in life mm-hmm. i i completely beg to differ clearly you're all up there and roaring to go lovely yes. thank you so much thank you for your insights and thank you for thank your... you very much thank, thank you, you for being much. on the show thank you thank you for listening if you like this podcast don't forget to subscribe to voice of achievers and share the link with your friends tune in for brand new episodes every sunday at 11 am stay updated and stay connected by following us on instagram at voice of achievers you may also send us guest suggestions or topics that you'd like us to cover with our guests by writing to us send out an email to editor at voiceofachievers.com with your name followed by your suggestion trust me we are listening and we cannot wait to share more such voices to empower you Thank you.